Good afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome to the Kelly Bowers Gymnasium here at Bedford Road Collegiate and Brick 54. Our first game of the tournament features last year's Regina City Champions making their fourth print appearance, the Ripple Royals. And making their 54th appearance, your Bedford Road. Today's starting lineups. First for the Riffle Royals. Head guard of I-10, great 12. Number one, Kyle Conte. Head guard of I-10, great 12. Number three, Tylion Nochaya. Head guard of 6-1, great 12. Number 10, Caden Thompson. And forward to 6 two, great 12. Number 11, Osagi Okunde. And starting at forward at 6 8, parade 11, number 21, Devin Berry. The head coach of the Ripple Royals is Mr. Kieran Hebert. And now let's meet the starters for your Red Hawks. Head guard of 5 10, break 12, number 1, and Mogil. Head guard of 5 9, break 12, number 2, Samram Fez. Head guard of 5 10, break 12, Well, 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 Brit basketball is here again. Oh, what? Okay. We got the girls game out of the way, and now we are into the meat of the tournament, everyone. Welcome to Brit. 2024, the 54th annual. My, and it's gotta be cold. Hey, long shot. It is so cold out there. You can see your breath. Yeah. Probably stick to some metal as well. Yeah, yeah. I tried it earlier. <laughs> so if I sound a little, yeah, it's because I stuck my tongue to the uh, pole this morning. Yeah. Well, we've got two teams playing here. I count two. Yep. The host Bedford Road Redhawks. Always the hosts with the most. It is. And they're taking on the Regina Riffles here. Yes, and okay. I'm glad they got here safely from Regina. It's the obviously cold outside. Yeah, I don't think. The, yeah, I don't think the weather should impact this one. Both teams used to the cold, yeah. playing in the cold, except the gym's hot. It's quite warm in here, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got an, you're new to the booth. Long shot. I am. This new. is your first uh, first trip to the booth. Well, welcome. I'm happy to be here. Oh. Oh my word. We're just getting set up, folks. You know, it's uh, it's going to be a long weekend of basketball here. We go all we go till the evening tonight, Friday, and then all day Saturday. So buckle up. You'll be uh, you'll be using your mute button a plenty, I'm sure. <laughs> Davin uh, had a wonderful shot, and now he's like a monster underneath the basket. Monster, monstrous monster. even. Yeah, there's some serious players coming out of Regina here. Six eight, six eight is quite. That's that's tall. Tall. But last time I checked, that's taller than me, by like a foot. Yeah, me too. Oh, big defense there from 21, Davin Barry. Oh. And Osagi Okuande, I think he's going to be a, a player to remember. Number 11. I've heard some big things out of him. Yeah. Not number out of three. him, about out him. Of him. Yeah. As the boy Bedford boys take it up the court. We got Dax. Dax preach sing to the paint. Oh, so close. Yeah, close only counts. Horseshoes and hand grenades there, long shot. That and there he true. is. Technically, that's our first. That was a dunk, I think. Yeah. That count that as a dunk. I, not an expert, but yeah. yeah. 
All right, if you're signed in on the chat, um, we will uh, we'll, we'll, we'll encourage you to uh, give a shout out to you know where you're watching from, you know? If you're, if you're one of our viewers from as far afield as Stonebridge, feel free to uh, feel free to log in and give us a little update on the weather over there. All I hear it's warmer in the south. Yeah, well, you know, and uh, did they shovel all the sidewalks out there? Probably. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. I got a couple people on my block. I'm gonna knock on their door tonight. Tell them they're it's making us look bad. Okay. Turth with the first basket. That's right, Turth Patel from the charity stripe here. Oh, well done, man. He's automatic, that kid. Yeah. Too bad handing into Simons isn't automatic. I wish, yeah. Okay. All right. Ty Leon is in every play, I'm noticing. Yeah, he's a, he, he plays a big part of their offense, I'm sure. Yeah. Ty Leon Osaya? Uh, Oshaya. Ochaya. Oshaya. Oshaya. Gotcha. Uh-huh. It's a C, it's a S-H. It's a, yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. I will mispronounce names. I'm sorry for that. Well, if you are listening and we are saying a name wrong, please type it into the chat phonetically. Don't just write their name again. And we'll, uh, we'll gladly correct ourselves. I, I'm correcting myself daily or I'm being corrected. Dax taking up the court, you know, I love his shoes, gotta say. He has some really fancy yes, shoes. Yes, we will be uh, giving shout outs to Top Kicks yep. all weekend long, all tournament oh. long. Yeah, his are nice, those are nice. They got they the, lots of color going on there. They look new. See, now you'll, you'll notice something too. I don't know if it's this year. The compression shorts, I'm not seeing. Oh, no, number two's got them on there. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, mismatched shoes. So you'll have like one shoe looking different than the other. And it's like, did he find that in the lost and found? Yeah. No, no, that's how they're made. Oh, they, they actually make have you shoes don't have that don't look the same. You have to buy two pairs of shoes. No, is no. that it? No. Oh, maybe that's it. I See, here know. I'm thinking they're producing shoes that are, <laughs> oh, that's a, my head hurts from thinking about that. So kids oh. will buy two sets of shoes and then swap them out? I have no idea. That's crazy. Huh. I always thought they just found one in the lost and found. <laughs> oh, they're full court pressing already. Riffle um, Riffle's up shape. to an early lead here. Yeah. You uh, definitely don't want to fall behind in the Brit games. They're shorter than the, than the, the normal quarters. Um, oh, really? Yeah, they shorten them up. So, I mean, you, you got to really go hard. And it's just two halves here, so. As opposed to four halves or 12. She said the name right. Long shot. Oshaya. All right, Caleb has the ball. He's going in. Caleb Dover kicks it over. Oh. We got some amazing sound. I can really hear the crowd yes. in my headset. I think it sounds better in my headset than it does outside. Number one to number 10. Back to number one. Conte oh. can't get it to drop, gets his own rebound, kicks it over. Oh, oh Devin Barry. Dunk. He's another dunker. Dunked again. All right, well, we will be having a dunk competition tomorrow at the pep rally, which will be live streamed. That so if you're watching, um, yeah, you'll be able to check out the dunk competitions. Big part of the uh, pep rally tomorrow. That is amazing. I forgot that existed. Yeah, uh, they, um, they asked me to be a judge. Oh. And I said, a judge, I've got pop can ups. And they said, what's that? I said, I can jump the height of a pop can. <laughs> Crush it. So I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know. All right, All right. Conte, big steal. Oh! Faiz, Zamran Faiz. Oh, oh he gets, is this gonna be a foul? He's gonna go take two. He's got the deuce at the line here. He's got two. Big steal there by Zamran Faiz. Going to try and cut into this 10 point lead. Two shots for Some of these referees, they, they don't age, you know? No. They're just. Timeless. Yeah. It's like this one guy, I see him every year. Yep. I've only been here 10. Well, that's, 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 uh, that's 10 more than some of our listeners, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, coming up the court, we've got. All right, they're working it around. Number 10. 
Caden. Caden Thompson. He also has stellar shoes. Just want yeah. to point out his Different shoes. Different colored laces, I'm noticing. Yeah. Caden Thompson kicking it down low to the man in the paint. Wow, Davin Berry, get used to that name, folks. He's the big man down low. He's there, Shaquille O'Neal, per se. Caden is right on Caleb, there is no... Davin Berry, he looks like he can play O-line for like the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He's huge. You know, I've once heard about these people that can play any sport and do well at those. Yes, those people. Yeah. They're, uh, they're athletic. Yeah. They, they, they just got the gift, you know, the gift. Okay, 16-5. I'm noticing we've done away with the uh, digital overlay of the score clock. Probably a good thing considering some of the incidents last year. Yes, that did not go so well mm -hmm. in some cases. Amazing tournament though. And of it course, big points there. Picks up a big three. That was Adam oh. Gill. I thought for sure Thompson was fouled there. Well, but he answered back with the two. And Mal Gill, smooth up the court. Great shooter, Ann Mal Gill. Yes. No, I was going to mention uh, the returning champions are here to defend their title from Raymond, Alberta. <gasps> the Comets are here. I don't know if they've arrived in town yet, but they are. They are on their way. They're on deck to play this Which tournament. That's awesome. We've only had uh, one team is, is already announced they're not going to make the tournament here from Alberta, Spruce Grove, I believe. Yes, Spruce Grove, Alberta, yeah. and it's just too cold to drive. Well, it's cold. I got a warning on my phone this morning, and I heard Alberta was even worse, so. Minus 43. Yeah. Oh. We're learning some new technology up in the booth this yeah. year. It's always good to learn something new. Oh, look at that. Soggy in for it. We've got a whole bunch of different camera views for you guys. Woo wee, we're gonna make you dizzy. We'll try to keep it simple. <laughs> oh, look at this, okay. So cam four. Yes. All right, we got two shots, number 11. Asagi. All right. See if we can do this right here. Nice. For, and oh, back to shot. the game. Just Look at that. Shot. Seamless. Yes. Love Let's, it. Look at us learn. Well, I'm going to get this booth organized once and for all. <laughs> so St. Peter the Apostle oh, from Alberta aren't coming. We're going to use their sheet. There we go. We're going to make some notes here. Excellent. All right, Bedford Road down by eight. You know, it's respectable. I mean, I don't think anybody had any, uh, I mean, obviously being the host team, there's always a desire to win it all. Um, oh, yes. But I think some of the level of, you're gonna be treated to some seriously skilled basketball, high level of basketball, this, this tournament. And Riffle, of course, being awarded the uh, opening game. Which is quite the honor. Definitely, and of course, if they win, if, they won't play again until tomorrow evening. Oh, they got some time to do some Caleb Dover up the court with some pace. Oh, oh. no, stolen. Oh, oh, and it's blocked oh, back. Oh, my. We got us a game. Oh, my. Woo. Woo. Yeah, they no dice there. They just bounce right up when they hit the court. I would not. Osagi Okunde couldn't get that one to drop. All right, 19-9. So I give a shout out to all of the volunteers from Bedford Road who make this tournament happen. We couldn't do it without the school and the alumni that keep coming back year after year.
right, folks, here we go. So we will be working out the kinks. You're along for the ride, folks. We're going to uh, get this tech all figured out for you. I'm not a tech person, so it's going to be a struggle, but we got it. Oh, yeah. With long shot in the, in the booth, I'm never worried. Yeah, that's delayed. Oh. This is good. Okay. Okay, Bedford Road working it around. Anmol Gill for three. Oh, so close. No dice. Riffles number 14. That'd be Tristan Berry. Hopefully, maybe that might be Everly. I don't know. Everly. I'm going to put a. It's Everly. Is it? I yes, thought it so. Is. I do know the Everly family is from Regina. A famous Jordan Everly with connections to that city, oh, of course. Look at Playing you dropping names. NHL player. <laughs> Never forget his goal, the World Juniors. Doc can't oh. get it to drop. Number 14 cleans it up. Everly. Oh. Number nine didn't get a hold of it. Ethan. Oh, we got Caleb on the go. Caleb Dover. Doc again. Oh, no nice. Big, big rebounds there. Hendry got it. I love Henry Schuster. Kiefer Henry. I've yet to teach that young man. Same. Never had him in any of your sections? Not, no. not, neither one of them. He's got nice yellow he shoes. Has nice kicks. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think he's in the running for top shoes Top shoes so far. Yeah. And Maul Gill going with the red and white. Yes, classic. Yeah, the classic Bedford pairs. colors there. He's definitely made some choices. Yeah. All right, number one. Kyle has the throw in. This is a set play. Number oh, 11. Makes nice it look work. easy. Asagi again. Okunde. My kid's on fire today. Good day to be on fire. Keep warm. Yeah, it is. It's cold out there. Oh, big defense again from 14. I'm noticing uh, Everly, he's, he's quite the, uh, he's got a good swat. You yes. know, he'd be good to sick on the flies at, you know, in the summertime. Yeah. Like at a picnic or something. Oh, from behind there. Is he calling a foul? I don't think so. 22. Hendry. No, that wasn't Hendry. Who is 22? Uh, that's uh, Hendry as well, but it's Grace. Oh, we do I have forgot. twins. I forgot. That's right. We have twins. We have twins. I bet you I always think I'm passing the same kid in the hall. <laughs> and there's two of them. How did I not know this? I, I don't know. I correct myself daily. Every minute, sometimes. <laughs> Minutely, if that's a thing. Oh, smooth. Oh, but didn't drop. Hmm. I'm noticing the uh, coaching staff on the Bedford Road side there. Very similar look between um, yes. Mr. Gordon and McHenry there. Yep, and Mr. Faye. They could be twins. Well, Faye doesn't look anything like those two. No, but his shoes do. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about shoes right oh. now. I'm talking about their look, like their oh, faces. Okay. Oh, yes. Like, look. Yeah. It's Next like time the camera pans by the Bedford bench, folks, just have a little look-see there at the bench. They look the same. Yeah. One's a seasoned teacher. Yep. One's just finished their internship. Yeah, he's got a great you, cup ring, so I'll take him any day. Yeah, you can pick which one's most seasoned. Seasoned is in how? Like salt? Or age. Oh, that's a gentle way of saying Thanks. older. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm trying to be nice. That's good, yeah. That's oh, I, should, no. I should try that sometime. Oh my, bit of a madhouse here. He's looking for somebody scramble. to pass to. Oh, they got it before a half. Recover, settle things down. That's Ethan Aviard. Nice work. Drained it from the three point. Three point line, yeah. yeah. We got a Hendry. We got an Anmol Gill. Oh. Ooh, and it's out of there. Oh. Everly kicks it up. Kyle's taking it Conte, down the court. Kyle Conte, here we go. Three For point. three. He can't get it to go. Number seven, Cooper Simmons. Rolling in 6-1, senior. They got a good mix of grade 11s and 12s on this Riffle team. They do. They so do. They're always planning for the future, you know. You got to build a team. Nothing worse than having a bunch of seniors and then they graduate. Yeah. Oh, that was a long three there. Aviard couldn't get it to drop. Conte setting something up. I wonder what he's setting up there. Setting that up is what he's setting uh -huh. up. 
and oh. Ebe Decor. It, unfortunately, it did not work out so well. Decor again gets yeah. it to drop this time. Well done. Decor. Ebe oh. Decor. Oh, we got some substitutions and timeout. Yep. By More by. names to learn. Yes. Love substitutions. Yeah. They're my favorite. And since the Red Hawks called the timeout, one of theirs is gone. <laughs> Plenty of sponsorships this year. Always good to see the local community helping us out. We got Old Dutch? Oh. Is Old Dutch sponsoring us this year? I haven't had Old Dutch in forever. Man. I should buy a bag. You should. I wonder what flavors they're rocking. They better have barbecue. Oh. I am an all dressed. All dressed? All dressed. Old Dutch? Yeah. A little too sweet. Oh. Couldn't be brought to you without our Sastel provider providing us all that bandwidth. Mm -mm -mm. And lanyards. Love me some bandwidth. All, all of the lanyards. Not That's all right. of them, but Cameco and Sastel shared. Nice, nice. Of yeah. course, Trail Appliance, Ham, Rock Creek Tap and Grill. We'll get to all these sponsors throughout the weekend or throughout the tournament. Plenty of halftime coming up. Lots of halftime entertainment as well. That is exciting. Bedford Road Senior Boys game. Yeah, we got the dance teams, 10-20-30. Oh, we got the three-on-three -three tournament back again this year as well. Always fun to watch the juniors play three-on-three -three at halftime. Oh. Couldn't get that to drop. No. That was Jet Sampson. He's a good kid. He is. I, I don't him. care what the other teachers say about <laughs> him. He's a good kid. Oshaya working it around. Man. A lot of ball movement. Conte, Oshaya, Simmons, I think we're going to be hearing their names a lot this weekend. Okunde as well. Oh. We're having two shots. He's getting two. Yep, Davin, he's going to be all over this. Oh. I'm sure the, uh, the Riffle coach will be working in a lot of the... Uh, the bench players, how do you say, second half, letting everybody get in their groove yeah. here, you know. But definitely, I don't think they ever take a, any team lightly in this tournament, you know. They came here to win it all. They're going to want to put their stamp on game one. Shake off the dust and put them on the court. Yes. <laughs> all right, Dax. Dax Breed Singh. Haven't taught that young man since grade 10. Oh, bit of a battle of the of the Giants there, and Barry oh. comes up with that one. Oshaya, no dice. Okay, 23. Dox Preet again, trying to get that three to drop, oh. and he gets it. Nice play, Doc. He gets that one. We've got a, set, a couple sets of uh, brothers on, on the Bedford team. The Gill brothers, of course, yes. Armand and Anmol, and then the Henry boys, so. And they're both sets of twins. Yeah, that's interesting, because uh, the Hendrys look much more similar, though. Yes. Okay. All right, number three. Oh, couldn't make it through. Oshaya, yeah. And I think there's going to be shots. Oshaya might be on, in the running for best hair of the tournament as well. Number three, he's got a beautiful fro he, going there. He is, yep, good hair. Definitely good hair. Lots of great hair out there. I'm losing mine, so I'm jealous. Mm. Yeah. Can he get it to go a little oh. long? A little long there, Caden Thompson. <laughs> Saying he was a right, shot it from clock the violation as well. Oh. I thought he got it off in time, but what do I know? Not a lot. 31-14. <laughs> Riffle from Regina. Wonder how the highways were. Oh, I heard they were clear. It's just cold. Just cold now. Yeah, yeah. the storm has passed. The clipper is over. Yeah. I have some relatives that commute. Ushered in a polar vortex. Shot. Oh man. Oh, just a little high. Don't be falling asleep in the crowd, folks. You might get a basketball in the lips. Mm -hmm. Never forget one year, I think it was 2016 maybe. Ball went flying into the bleachers. 
old man's teeth. Ended up in the stairwell. No way. Knocked out his dentures. Old grandpa had to go to the water fountain, give him a rinse. <laughs> Was his lips okay? Yeah, I don't know. No, I just remember needed? laughing. We had to mute our mics. Okay, we got some more substitutions. Yeah, it never fails, the weather. Every yeah. Brit, I thought, you know, over the holiday season, I was like, you know, we might have some great weather for, for Brit. We won't be freezing in the parking lot. Not happening. Nope. Nope. I was optimistic as well. And I thought, oh, we're parking on grass this year. Mother Nature took that optimism and yeah, took yeah. it away. Yeah. Like she does. Well, she Gil knew the tradition. Yes. She knew. Yeah. Old Mother Nature knew. Oh, Brit's coming. Polar Vortex. Yes. Yeah, activate Polar Vortex. <laughs> Kicking it out. All right. Oh, Simmons for three. Simmons can't get it to go. Oh. Look at Dax taking it down back to Bedford. Bedford oh. wants to get it cut into this lead a bit here before halftime. A little over a minute left. These quarters drip away quickly, folks. They do. I think I might have to get a Brit dog at halftime. Ooh, I like their donuts. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. the long John. I might have already had one. Okay, well, we'll have to add that to the tally. <laughs> long shot. Any oh. relation to Long John? No? No. No? No. Oh. David Berry making that look easy, folks. I wonder how many points he's got. Someday maybe we'll have like the the full on. Is that it? All right, Caleb to Dax. Is it going to go in? No, it did not. Otaylion Ochaya. Yeah. Okay. Ochaya, not Ochaya. I was right. Somebody said it was with an SH sound. No, it's a chai. Chaya. Yeah. yeah. Okay, these well, microphones are not helping us communicate with each other. <laughs> I've got an SH all written in the phonetic spot. Thank you very much, whoever chimed in on the chat there. Tylion Ochaya. Via anime kid. Yeah. All right. Barry to the line here. <laughs> All right, taking his first shot. Oh, rebounded his own shot. Well done. David Berry, he is, he's, I think, I can tell already he's going to make the All-Star game. Yeah. If we had one. Yeah. An All-Star game. <laughs> we should, he's an All-Star. <laughs> we should host it in February. Yeah. The weather's nicer. Yeah, a little warmer. A little warmer. All right, so it's the second strip away here. Tylion Oshaya <laughs> got that right now. Oshaya. All the other, the rest of the team though. Oh, there okay, we wow, go. that's a pretty high score. 40 to 14. The Riffle Regina out of, out of Regina there. Our stranglehold on this game, first game, opening game. We're gonna let you enjoy the sounds of the gym, folks. And the halftime show. Yes, that is the Bedford Road Dance 10, 20, 30. Yes. If I'm correct. You yes, are 100%. It is. Oh, and the arts. Oh, no. No, no. It's we the are right. The RC Dance 10, 20, 30. I got that right. I just can't say people's names. Please welcome the dance 10, 20, 30 class.
I'm not working as hard enough, so I should be working harder. So uh, how do you guys think you'll do in the next half? I think we'll do well. I know the boys are going to have a nice talk in the locker room. We're going to start hitting our shots. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how do you think you'll do uh, in the rest of the season, or in the rest of the Brit tournament today? Brit tournament, hopefully we get one win. I think we're going to do well. It's going to be competition out here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Zamar and Fez, OK? Yeah. yeah.
All right, folks. Here we go. Second half, game one. Love it. Brit Basketball 2024, the 54th annual. Hmm. And the 54th annual with a special, special guest this year. Yes. This evening, we are going to be honoring none other than Nicole Poyer. The legend. The legend. Former mathematics instructor of this building. How long was she here for? I believe 16 years. Yeah. I don't know if she'd be happy about us throwing numbers around, but it's not well, her age. Well, she's only 19. So yeah, so she deal. started teaching when she was three. That's right. Yeah. Um, but, of course, she ran the, this tournament for whew, as long as I've been here. Well, no, that's a lie. Brad Clausen was a, was in charge, was the Brit chair prior yeah. to Nicole taking over. But at least it's got to be 10 years. Yeah, the whole know? time I've been here. And every single year elevated the tournament just a little more, yeah. a little more. And it's amazing. Yeah, bringing in little things, improving things, and, and as if... Next year, it'll be better than this year, I'm sure. Kim Garner's now the new Brit chair. Yep. And, um, you know, already little things I'm noticing, like bringing us rosters with room to put the pronunciations in there. Awesome. Little things, folks. It's the little things. It's the details. It's the sprinkles on the long johns. It's those things. Buried down low. Oh, we have a basketball game going on. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Riffle up by a lot here, 47-17. Dax Preet. Oh, right at center Number 10 court. picking up a foul there. Caden <laughs> <laughs> Thompson. All right. Yeah, you can tell a lot of these uh, players for Riffle. I'm sure they're, they're multi-sport athletes. Yes, the athletic you know. ones tend to be that way. Yes. Okay. Oh. Zamran Faiz, you know, he's pretty athletic, number two there. Yeah, he is. He is. And Gil for the three-pointer. Yeah, he's a good shooter, you know, and Mo's got a good shot. He practices a lot. He's dedicated. He is. Oh, look at that. Like a shot, number one, Kyle. He is. Oh, beautiful. Caden Thompson. That was beautiful. He nailed that one. It was automatic sometimes for him. Oh, answered back by number three. Docs, Preet, easy layup. Now I wonder, will Riffle lay off the gas here? Or do they just take it to him, you know? Like uh, I'm wondering, do they bring in their, their substitutes here, you know, get near the end of the game, let everybody get involved? It's not like they want to wear out, you know. They gotta turn around and play a game more. What if, what if they put the not starters on? And now the substitutes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they probably. That's what I'm All getting right. at. You know, they probably have a pretty deep bench. Um, yep. Riffle's pretty good. You I know? wonder how many cuts they make in a year. How many people want to be on this amazing basketball team? I don't even know how big Riffle is. What's the student body? I don't know. If anyone, if anyone knows, you can comment yeah. on how big Riffle is. Your student body. Ochaya with the ball here. The oh, anime okay. kid, as he's called. Taking the long bomb. Like, he just down to three. Yeah, Tylion didn't even like look there. He just kind of just, I'll yeah. grab that three and I'm gonna go grab a. Like in know, the movie. Yeah, go grab a Gatorade here. Yeah. You know, I gotta hydrate. Oh, that went out of Dax Preet Singh's grasp. Zamran Faiz, a little fastball pass there. Oh, we've got another team entering, getting ready here. Mm -hmm. Who would that be? I believe that is hmm. Campbell. Is that Campbell? It's Campbell's colors. They're pretty tall. They, I really think tall. every team like invited those to Those guys are really tall. Yes. Yes, they are. That would be Campbell. That's yep. right. They're playing next at 4 p.m. Yeah, I know my uniforms. You do? Yeah. Glad, glad to have you in the booth, long shot. Glad to be here, famous Amos. That's right, folks, and if you uh, get sick of us, don't forget your, uh, whatever you're listening <laughs> on, you know, your hi-fi stereo, your laptop, tablet. It's got a mute button. I'm sure you'll find it there. It's in the corner. Yep. Feel free to hit the mute. Shut us up. The ex-wife always did. <laughs> I was thinking our students tune us out all the time. Yeah. They have skills. They found the mute button. Yes. Didn't bring a pencil, but got a mute button. Yes. It is true. Oh, Jet. Oh, Nails Jet. it. Simpson. Jet Sampson. Oh, I'm so proud of these boys. I teach every one of them. Hmm. Yes. 
They are amazing. Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna take that long, that long three there, Okunde. Oh. Down to Barry. Oh, we have a substitution in. Yeah, we got some substitutions going on. Oh, Kyle's back to the bench, and uh, Osage is back to the bench. A decor is gonna be uh, number 23. Oh, 23. Who do we got there? 23. I, he's not on our list. He's not. <laughs> My goodness. Welcome to the court, 23. Yeah, we'll get that name for you. If anybody uh, out there in TV land. Wow. Just under 1,000 students. 1,000 kids. What? That's a huge collegiate. Yeah, so I'll bet you there's like 100 kids who want to make the team. Yeah. And then they have to cut them, which is sad. No, but also makes a good team. That's real life. That's real life. I like that. I like <laughs> cuts. Cuts are good. Teaches them, you know, you got to try hard. And they don't get to come to, like, gorgeous locations like um, Saskatoon in January. We got our Mac attack is looking for the program. There it is. Of course, Mark McDonald, a uh, coach for the Walter Murray Marauders. He uh, likes to spend a little time in the booth with us. He's is a great, great mind for basketball. Good oh. to have him up here. He actually knows what he's talking about. Oh. He's not just uh, a talking head. I was going to say we're eye candy, but they can't see us. Yeah, so. that's right. I have a face for radio. That's what my <laughs> mom always said. <laughs> Fell out the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. My kids tell me I have an irritating voice, so mm. now you Like your own children? or Yes, my own children. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. well. Yeah. All right. At least they're honest. Always, always honest. Oh, look Barry. at that. Not even a challenge. Yeah, I mean, he's massive. I, yeah. I swear he's selling himself short at 6'8". He looks taller. Oh, he does. And, like, I, I guess to say he's a solid 260? I have, I don't guess like, weight. He's pretty lean, but he he's 6'8". Yeah, I don't I don't guess weight. That's not a fun game for women. Right. But uh, It's like the age thing I heard. You don't really like that one either. I don't mind the age of other people. <laughs> I got you. All right, Henry to Jet Sampson. Oh, Ooh. gave up on the play before what? the whistle there. I think he thought he heard a whistle. Henry, no dice. All right. Those shoes sometimes sound exactly like they a whistle. They do. Ochaya, he's got moves. The anime kid to the net. Oh, my. All right. The anime kid, they call him. Ooh, nice camera angle. You like that? Yeah. I did that Way for. To be on top I of did that. that for the people. Nice. Yeah. You're such a giver. Oh, unfortunately, not made. But rebounded by 23. Yeah, we need that name, folks. If you're listening out there, give us the name for number 23. Okay, turn for the Riffle Royals. Oh. Doc Breed Singh up the court. Will he make this play sing? Oh. Oh, wow. 23. 23. We'll call him Opti Michael Jordan for now. Oh, that would have been so pretty. Decor couldn't get that layup to go. See how far behind? Yeah. We're just talking about internet luggage. Yeah, the old, uh, the, uh, well, but there's a word for it. What's it called again? Oh, Not lag. Um, <laughs> latency? Something to do with, like, latency? <laughs> oh, we got some. Ah, yes, the latency. We Where's got something that? cheering for their nephew, which is Let's pretty go, nephew. awesome. Who's your nephew? Number 23? Got a name? Oh, 23 is Grady, apparently, maybe. Grady. Do we got him on here? No, that's the 23 we're missing. Oh, no, Grady, Grady Wilson, right up there. Grady Wilson? Is it Grady Wilson, folks? Oh. We're changing his number here. Uh-huh. 23, Grady Wilson. Nice. Well, they have him as number five in our booth sheet, so They're it's little, not our fault. A little bit wrong there. Yeah. Typo. Not our fault. All right. G with the ball, but he didn't get to actually go up to the net. We got some whistles that went here. And I like how Guillermo Rodriguez, they don't got his number right either. Guillermo's oh. on the court. 
Oh, yeah. Says five. He ain't number five. I'm trying to give everyone number five. He ain't number five. He's number 33. Oh, Dax on the run. Up. Working oh. out the kinks, folks. It's only the first game. We'll have this master. I'm by telling you. By, you know, 2029. I was, you're optimistic. Yeah. Thank you. Well, for it gets optimism. better every year, so <laughs> maybe they'll move me out of the booth. Get somebody in here that knows what they're doing. I don't think that brings fun to a game sometimes. And you know what? If you think you can do better, get your car started. Get on down here. We'll put the headset <laughs> on you, and you can give her. I'll gladly listen. Okay, back to the game, folks. Oh. Nice to see the Riffle Royals with some substitutions number 10, here. Number 10 for the basket. Yeah. Nice work. That's Caden Thompson and Ian Randall's on the court now. A few other fresh faces I'm seeing here. Okay, Grady Wilson's out there. Yep, D digging into the bench here, letting their starters rest. Again, um, if Riffle can hang on to this lead. I don't know, pretty big spread. Yeah, the third, huh? it's tight. I don't yeah. know, I don't know, 63-24. Um, uh, Riffle will be playing tomorrow, obviously, uh, uh, 5 p.m. Yes. And then, like, if they win yes. tomorrow, tomorrow, 5 p.m., and then again, Saturday they would play at 1.30, and then they'd have to play again if they made the final at 9. Yeah. Like, that's a tough Saturday, two games. Yeah, they can sight see Saskatoon, you know, go like, down well, to me, Watson. I'm sure coming up from Regina, they'd be loving to see the, the, the sights. Here, yes. You know? Yeah, we have a beautiful river. We it's do. covered in snow right now, but yep. it is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Making it look easy, number 21. Turth is awesome. He's on fire. Tell. Oh, nicely done, Turth. Jim looks amazing as usual. Always. The panels, you folks at home can't see them, but no. behind us, on the other side of the gym, the opposite side of obviously the camera point, <laughs> all the teams get their own oh. panel, if you don't know. And the big oh, Caleb to Hendry, but that didn't make it complete. Number four got in the way, Ian Randall. Nice pass. Oh, they're three on 14. Yeah. Eberly. Bedford's wanting to take something yeah, home. Well, they're trying to chip away at this lead, you know? Yeah. Riffles like the big tree, and, and, yeah. and, and Bedford Road is the axe, and they're trying to chip, chip. that, chip away. <laughs> chip, chip, <laughs> chip away like I will, like the ice on my windshield when I go to leave here tonight. Mm. Guillermo Rodriguez, he's got speed. I like my command start, so I don't have to chip away ice. Oh, yeah, you just let it warm up. Yeah, yeah. that's right. But I don't, yeah. I park outside. I don't have a garage. Oh, then yeah. it definitely pays dividends. Yeah, I see yeah. I'm in the garage, oh. but I got no command start. Oh, I see. I think I would prefer the garage. Yeah. My daughter needs to get a little older, and I'll just command her, her. to go start the car. <laughs> It'll be my command start. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. It's for the children. Yes, parenting tips also. <laughs> parenting tips, yeah. <laughs> Famous Amos. All right, to the old charity stripe. Number 10. Number 10. Caden Thompson. Thompson. Oh, yeah. Oh, he made that look easy. Yeah, that's automatic for that kid. Yeah. And a fresh haircut for today, I, I see. I wonder if he did get a cut it for the tourney. Fresh. Yeah? yeah? Mom says, you'd be getting that, that mop cut for that tournament. I'm putting you on TV or the internet with messy hair. Yeah. Might get an interview or something. I know, the pressure. Not on my watch. Okay, we got cheers for Caleb and the Caleb Henry Dover. Bros online. Oh. Caleb. Caleb made it look good. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. Mm -hmm. Sadly, uh, looks don't matter. It's just got to go in. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Close, close don't count. All right, Everly. Oh, that's Caden Thompson. Who am I kidding? That was number 10. Oh. All right. All right. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. You know, 66, 26. One, one, what are they called? Periods? The just quarters, the, the, the clock board, I was trying to yeah, make clock funny. Board, yeah. The clock board, yeah. See, I don't understand. I don't know what sport we play in the gym has periods. Exactly. I've never like, is that understood. from like a hockey rink? 
Like, re, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is why I never understood. No. no. But you know what I do understand? What is that? I understand that we had some amazing sponsors step oh. up for us this year. Yes, you know, we did. Ham Construction, Flavors Catering. Mmm, love me some flavors. Yeah. What about Trail Appliance? I have bought appliances. Why from buy Trail from Trail Appliance? Thousands of items in stock, that's why. Yes, and they 30 deliver. 30-day price guarantee. Nice. Professional install and service. Thank you, Trail Appliance. Sastel providing all those internet needs. Laser Auto Body. I wonder how busy they are with the roads being so icy. Oh, I bet you they went from zero to 160. Take that smashed up car to laser. I saw so many smashed up cars on the way to work. Smashed up. And of course, our uh, local ML, we've got Brad Reddick up here. Oh. Saskatoon West. Yeah. Brad, thank you. Old Dutch chips. <gasps> Love me some old Look, Dutch. Caleb Dover's uncle is watching him from Trinidad and Tobago right now. Love it. Love the internet. What's the weather down there? Oh, my word. Old Probably Trinidad. so Trinidad. much better Trinidad than here. Tobago, I love it. I bet you he's like some jerk chicken or like, what's he eating? I, I don't know. It's really hot there, though. Oh, I really want I'm jealous, man. I'm cold. I'm so Shout cold. out to Trinidad and Tobago. That's awesome. That is. And Caleb's such a sweet boy. So you have a sweet nephew. Yeah, he's a good kid. He eats oh. lunch in my room sometimes. I haven't taught him since last year. Oh, I'm teaching him now. He's teach a good him, kid. Teach I him taught up, him this morning. Teach him up good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he could find Trinidad and Tobago on a map, because he didn't do so hot on the geography <laughs> section. <laughs> I don't know, but he can cook good food. That's well, that's good, him. yeah. Long shot and famous Amos bringing you all of the, uh, with the voices here. For this matchup, anyhow, until they pull me out of here with one of those yeah, hooks. Yeah, I think I'm, this is my probation. I don't know what it's going to go. One of those hooks. Ooh. All right, enough small talk. we got number five. Oh, just rolling his way See, in there. See, now we do have a number five on here. Okay. Okay. We still have a... We got to work out. Yeah, the, we yeah, got to work out We got some issues with some names here. So, number 23 for the Riffle Royals and number five. If you guys could write it okay. in the chat, that would be Megan great. Megan said 23 is Grady. Okay. But... Who's number five? They got a number five, though. Whew. I'm telling you, they don't pay enough. This is intense <laughs> up here. Mispronouncing kids' names, people Christ. signing in, watching from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. That is my favorite part. That is awesome. Oh, it's sunny. It, he told us it's yeah, sunny. Yes, of course it's sunny. I know. Yeah. Rub it in. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. Very cold. Very cold here. I don't even know if the sun's out. Like, it's probably hiding in some clouds because it's Who cold. Who knows? Does it even exist? Uh. We're colder than Mars this morning. <laughs> oh, shot clock oh, violation. Just beat him. All right, with 6.48 left, we got ourselves a pretty hefty lead. Riffle, Riffle will be playing tomorrow. They'll advance. Bedford yes. will start off the consolation side tomorrow. Right after the pep rally, I believe. Oh, right. Our infamous pep rally. Or not infamous. infamous. My, oh my no, long shot. it's an amazing pep rally. It's yes. like skill building and everything involved. Wow. Rodriguez nice from the parking work. lot. That was a long distance bomb. Guillermo Rodriguez draining the tray. Woo. All right. Okay, number eight, Decor. He's been holding it down here second half. Guillermo. Oh, she put, got it. Oh, Guillermo, to kill. He puts on the miles. There's a lot of running. All right, to Gil passing to Gil. Yeah, Gil to Gil. Gil, Gil to Gil. Henry. Nice Henry. work, Henry. Good job. Those Henry brothers are pretty awesome people. They are. I thought they were the same guy. <laughs> Didn't realize we had a pair of twins there. It's like a doppelganger. Okay. We got number, number five. Number we gotta five. figure out who that is. Oh. The mystery man. Whistle blue before 14 can get the shot. Yes, Tristan Eberly. He's been playing. He's got a lot of court time this game. Mm -hmm. Out there on the floor. Yeah. But I think we'll definitely get to know these gentlemen's names. Ochaya, Conte, Cooper Simmons. They were really racking up the points there in the first half. Yes. Osagi Okunde as well, number 11. Barry. You know, these guys are amazing. Well, all the parents, you know, these kids wouldn't be what they are if it wasn't for moms and dads driving them to games, buying them shoes, shooting hoops in the backyard till dark. Yeah. Oh, nothing but air there. 
Well, and the impressive part is the, the young gentlemen come here and are perfect gentlemen. Like, not only have a sports kit, but you have a really sweet kid. Yes, polite. A polite. Everly, yeah, Everly scored that last deuce there. A timeout on our hands. 66-33. So we got the next game coming up. Who's on next? Oh, Campbell, that's right, against Harry Ainley from Edmonton, I believe. Harry Ainley's out of Edmonton, Alberta, are they not? Uh, they are I so. I believe so. They are. Long shots looking at the panel. You know, if you just can't see it, you just can't yes, see the, it. Yeah, the Harry Ainley Titans. That's right. Edmonton's Harry Ainley. Strong basketball tradition. Yep, they, uh, they've been here a few times. That's a big school, too. It is. Yeah, uh, definitely over 1,000. Yeah. We've had some schools, some big schools from Vancouver, too, over the years, I remember. I can't remember. North Van, who was that? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Now I'm going to hurt. I bet. You know what? I bet you it's in the back of the book. It probably is. But they, I think there was a school over 2,000. Massive. Yeah. Handsworth. Yeah. Oh, their team was amazing. They were all like eight feet. Yeah, oh, definitely. Probably, they might have been tall. I think they were as high as the basket. They, they yeah. were quite and they were, tall. Yeah, and they were like a well-coached, again, super polite kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can just imagine having to teach a classroom of giants like that. I don't mind. I'm normally the small one in my room, so you just have to, to look up all the time. Yeah, it's that's fine. Right. How's the weather up there? Yeah. Okay. Bedford Road. Charles Puche on the court. Oh. Puche getting some game oh, time. Caleb. Caleb going. Dover. Oh. Okay. He was disappointed with the call, but yep. that's okay. Caleb Great gets ball. over things. Number five. Oh, he likes it. I like Caleb's shoes, too. Anyway, yep. moving on. We will keep a tally of best shoes, and near the end of the tournament, we'll make our selection. Best hair, best shoes. I'm going I'm gunning for most Brit dogs eating in the booth. Holding that down. Ooh, I like taco in a bag, personally. That's good. So Cooper Simmons is back on the court for the Royals. Ethan Aviard's out there again. All right, Caleb Dover, cutting it in. Oh. No go. No. All right, Agil. Oh, sunk it. Nice shot well there. Well done. Armand with the tray. Nice work. Okay, right. mystery man, number five. Number five. Mysterious Oh, look at five. him moving that ball around. Simmons. Aviard working it around. 23. Oh. Is that a travel? I'm not sure. Oh, he looked like Let's his bags see. were packed. He was on his way to the airport there. Traveling. Oh, they're taking it at the end. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Simmons dishing it off. Inside. Hmm. Hey, do you remember when sports ball teams had money and they got their name on the back of their jersey do you yes, remember that well that's that's something that they still do well, some teams yeah some teams do but not all of them well it would I, be handy just saying i don't know why high school you know i think high school because they pass them jerseys around every year yeah you're you can't cut, or you you're, can't you're, you're in grade yeah. 12 you graduate and it's like we got to use your hey, get that jersey back yeah what good is it with a name on it i mean they could put name plates let's take the name plate off you would think I, someone you know, would have invented that like velcro velcro's out there well, Velcro or stitch it on. I mean, whatever. Right? You could use buttons, snap it. Snap it. <laughs> you know what? Don't take that idea. Listeners, that's my idea, and I'm going to patent it. Reach out to Elon. Finance my snap-on name tag. You can advertise it through X. Kid skips class, just pull the snaps. You're done. <laughs> Get off the court. Caleb is going up for some. He is. He's going to the old charity stripe here. We'll let it's camera action. Oh, we got people cheering from Edmonton. Nice. It's cold Uncle there, Larry too. Uncle Larry and Auntie G. Jen. Love Uncle Larry. Um, Auntie Jen. Sorry, Uncle Larry Mike. makes the best burgers. Oh, you think homemade, so? Homemade, yeah. Flips them. Ooh. Flips them nice. On the barbecue or yeah, on the grill? Yeah, he puts the cross hatches on. Oh. Well, at least that's Uncle Larry. I know. This might be a different Uncle Larry. It might be. This guy's from Edmonton. There can't be that many Uncle Larry's in Edmonton, though, hey? Well, this guy's probably an Oilers fan, and I don't know. I don't I'm get an along. Oilers fan. I don't fan. get along with Oilers oh, fans. what? I'm an Oilers fan. 
grew up hating Gretzky. Oh, I got to meet Gretzky, I'm but sure I got you to did. I, I got to really meet care. Mr. Gretzky, you know what? who's even better. Who's dad? Yeah. yeah, he's a good guy. He's an amazing guy. He's raised a good son, the great one. Yeah. Is his dad greater? Uh, his dad is probably the sweetest human being I've ever met. Charles Pucci. He's on the court. Cutting it up. Oh, Gazan. Over to the himself. Gazan's on the court now. Yeah. My. Yeah, Gazan Khan. His sister graduated a few years ago. I oh. wish I could remember her name. Coming in, number 15. What do we got here? It's the Campbell re, uh, Refined Roster. Refined. Well, well. They're just, see, this Brit just gets, they just keep adding jobs. We just roll. We get paperwork, we get mail up here now. Yes, hand delivered. We got our, po our own post office box in the booth. 69-35, Guillermo Rodriguez to inbound here. 246 remaining. Kazan Khan, what's he got up his sleeve? He's got a foul. He's going to the line. Number 12. Oakley. Mm -hmm. I haven't said Oakley's name yet. That's yeah, pretty he's awesome. Some Oakley Paradis. Watch, it'll be pronounced Paradise. Oh, yeah, you're going to totally mess that one up. Sorry, family. Zan with the first shot. Nice work. Does he dead? No, no not go. the two. So yeah, Harry Ainley and Campbell up next. So if you're tuning in, you're a little early. That's okay. Catching a little bit of basketball. This is the opening game of Brit 2024, the 54th annual. 54 years. It's a tradition. It is. Now had COVID not existed, we'd be at a higher number. A little over two minutes left. There's information flying around. Coach Eric Fay for the Red Hawks yelling in some complicated play, I'm sure. Yes, he's Ooh. standing with authority, though, so his hands are on his head. Puche went down hard there. The mystery man, number five, five. cuts it inside. Oh, look at him go! Like a knife. That guy's got. Wow, oh. he turned the defense inside out. Charles is go. Oh, Charles has a fight with number five. He uh, doesn't let him go. go. Not a fight, fight, but like they are battling. Yeah, that was a battle. That's battle. Ball battle. Fight. Yep. I gotta get my words right. Hey, you call it what you want. Well, call like it like it is. Call it like you see it. Long shot. <laughs> call it like you see it. All right. Guillermo Rodriguez. Oh, he's fun too. He's got a bright future, that boy. I will tell ya. Yeah. And when he does his hair, he's got some good curls. I see a lot of good curls out yeah. here. Yeah. Puche's like, rockets and curls? Yeah, we have then, like a lot. I don't know if they're natural or perm, but they're looking good. Yeah. I mean, Ochaya over there is already in my books the nicest hair of the tournament. Yeah. It is beautiful. But it's early. I don't want to commit. Don't, I don't yeah. want to go all in on the first game here, you no. know. Don't get too attached right now. Right, right. Yes, it is sad to hear that the one team didn't make it out because of the weather, held yes. them back. Too cold to travel with students. Totally get that. Oh, completely understand. I mean, wish they could come, but. Yeah. St. Peter the Apostle. They're uh, Spartans, yes, I believe. Spruce Spartans? Yep. Yes, Spruce Grove. Yes, Spruce Grove. That's just outside Edmonton, is it? It not? is, yes. Yeah. My husband grew up in Spruce Grove. Oh, there you go. Nice community. I think so. I've never been. Yeah. Well, the Aiden Bowman Bears, the Ooh. local team, got shoulder tapped. I'm sure there was some excitement in the hallways. Oh, yes. When they got word that, you know what? You're in. Yeah. We've given you the keys to the kingdom. Of course, we try to bring in. Oh, we got Luke on the floor now. The Brit Committee tries to bring in, you know, some quality teams from across not only Saskatchewan, Western Canada, and uh, further afield, as far as Australia. Yeah. We've had teams from Australia. And Australia came New the York. year in 07 with all the snow. Oh, right. Yep. That, that was, I was still living overseas. Yes, yeah, so they, it snowed. They could get to Vancouver, but then they couldn't fly here. So what they did is they got train tickets and took oh the train my. here. They were like, no, 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 no. Yeah, but when they got here. We're here, here to play basketball. Yeah, when the, we went to go pick them up, when they got here, we all had to shovel snow like it was 
Like, wow. it was That was insane. the year of the blizzard, yeah, because yeah. it was right after New Year's because my friends flew to see me. I was living overseas. Crazy. Yeah. A little bit of Brit lore, folks. Yeah. Long shot with the... Um, history of Ooh, Brit. Wee. Oh, there's some defense. Simmons says, get that out of here. Oh, man, we got four seconds left. All right, folks. I'm going to not be a pessimist, but I think it's pretty clear. They got the her locked is. down. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a Riffle fan, Riffle Royals, they play tomorrow at 5 p.m. Bedford Road will be rocking 1230. Not so bad. That's not bad. You yeah, get yeah. to sleep in a little bit. Yeah, I, will, yeah, I think they yeah. get breakfast tomorrow morning as teams That's as right, well. That's right, the Brit breakfast. They do I everything, you know, a little uh, press conference, yeah. interviews now. Pretty pretty well designed. Well, yeah. there we go. First one's in the books, folks. Folks, yeah. folks, Riffle Royal 75, Bedford Road Redhawks 38. Awesome. We're signing off. And thank Enjoy you the to the aunties the and uncles. I salute you. I'm also one of them. Your team MVP was number one, Anmal Gill. Ripple plays tomorrow at 5 p.m. while your Bedford Road Redhawks will play tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. Our next game is we have the Campbell. We have the Campbell Tartans versus from Regina versus the Harry Amy Titans. One final announcement, Bedford Road students, please pay attention. If you have anything in your lockers, you must remove them as the school will be locked. Please remove everything from your, from your school lockers that you might need. Thank you.